Hi, I'm Lillian Erdahl. I'm a surgeon here at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what are problems that can happen with the gallbladder and why you might be referred for surgery of the gallbladder. So some of the main problems that happen with the gallbladder are infection, stones that develop in the gallbladder and can even leave the gallbladder and cause additional problems, and then gallbladder dysfunction, where the gallbladder doesn't empty properly to aid in digestion. Some of the ways that we might diagnose gallbladder disease are with certain tests, such as a right upper quadrant ultrasound. That shows us the gallbladder anatomy, as well as the bile ducts uh, and the cystic duct draining the gallbladder. Some of the problems that can happen include infection. So on an ultrasound, uh, you might see inflammation or thickening of the gallbladder wall. This is the gallbladder as it sits just under the liver in the body. Uh, if you have gallstones, within the gallbladder. Sometimes those can escape and go down the, the ducts and block the drainage of the liver or even the drainage of the pancreas, causing gallstone pancreatitis. Anytime that problems happen with the gallbladder, uh, we have to discuss whether or not uh, surgery is a piece of the treatment of the gallbladder disease. One of the reasons to perform surgery is to prevent future stones from escaping from the gallbladder. And it also can be used as a treatment for infection or pain caused by gallbladder dysfunction, which is also called biliary dyskinesia. When the gallbladder is removed, we typically perform that surgery laparoscopically. That's with small incisions and cameras. However, our goal is always to perform a safe surgery for the patient, so sometimes we do have to perform uh, what's called open cholecystectomy with a larger incision. When we put our instruments in, the goal is to identify the gallbladder, divide this cystic duct, that drains the gallbladder down to the common bile duct and then remove the gallbladder from underneath the liver. Sometimes in order to identify that anatomy, the surgeon might perform a test called an intraoperative cholangiogram. To perform a cholangiogram, a catheter is inserted into the cystic duct, an x-ray dye is injected down that catheter, an x-ray is then taken, which shows the dye traveling in the ducts to identify the anatomy. An intraoperative cholangiogram might also be performed to ensure that there's no blockage of the ducts. So if you put a, uh, the x-ray dye in and there was a stone blocking, you would see that the dye couldn't travel all the way down the bile ducts. Once the gallbladder is removed, the patient's recovery after laparoscopic surgery usually takes one to two weeks uh, before they're ready to return to work and most normal activities. If you have to have an open incision, you might need more like six weeks off to fully recover. And other symptoms that can happen uh, while your body is adjusting to not having a gallbladder anymore include some diarrhea or loose stools, particularly with fatty foods. So we counsel patients to be careful with their diet when they're initially recovering from surgery. Typically with time, the body is able to compensate for that uh, gallbladder removal and be able to digest fatty foods without too much difficulty. Uh, there are a number of things that can happen in terms of recovery, and so we encourage patients to call us if they have any questions or concerns, such as fevers that develop, yellow jaundice, and certainly if the diarrhea is significant, interfering with their ability to eat or maintain adequate hydration. Some of the other less common reasons that you might be referred for discussion of gallbladder removal include tumors or polyps that can grow in the gallbladder. And so again, additional testing may be necessary to try to determine one, is the problem caused by the gallbladder? And two, would surgical removal really be the treatment of choice? We would be happy to see you at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics if you have any questions about the gallbladder or about gallbladder surgery. And your surgeon would take the time to explain all of your individual test results and what the treatment recommended is for you.